Well, there's a big event happening tonight at the Macmillan Theatre at the University of Toronto called The Sounds of Science. It's bringing together medicine, music and technology, and of course, Daily Planet has a backstage pass to the tech rehearsal. So Dr. Chong, what's the system that you're bringing to the sounds of science? Well, this is a setup that will measure muscle activity, motion activity during the act of playing a musical instrument. In this case, Lenny is playing violin. So this is the left trapezius or left shoulder. This is the right trapezius or right shoulder. The left forearm, the blue guy, and the right forearm is the green guy. Okay, now what's the purpose of the system? Well, you can now correlate muscle activation and movement together along with audio and video signals. So we can quantitatively analyze and motor control. So that's what this is for actually, is exactly. looking at, at, at musical related injuries. Is that something that's pretty common? The latest studies from Australia orchestral musicians say that there's an 84% uh, lifetime prevalence of injury. What? And 50% are playing hurt at any given time. Sounds like it's some sort of dirty little secret out there. Absolutely, because we, we don't ask, don't tell. So we've kept these injuries a secret for a long time. And this part of the performance stress that musicians, especially at the professional level, have to bear. Because once you somebody knows you're hurt, you might not get the call. Wow, so it sounds like this system is something that the industry absolutely needs. Absolutely. So show me how it works. Well, uh, if Linnea can start playing, we can... Wow, so you're getting live feedback from the sensors Absolutely. as she's playing right Real there. Time. So one of the big applications, other than quantitatively analyzing, is the biofeedback application. So if we say there's an excessive muscle activity in the right shoulder because of possibly a rotator cuff injury, then we can start down training the amount of muscle recruitment. Commonly in the violin, you'll see somebody crunching. Can you crunch? Suzuki style, there you go. And so you can see the left Oh, shoulder. holy cow, look at that spike. So that's not good for the neck and, and <laughs> the spinal cord. So we see very commonly lots of, uh, especially in the older musicians, uh, pros, uh, lots of wear and tear in the cervical spine, neck, and then sometimes requiring surgery. And so could your system actually help musicians avoid? That's right. We pick up stuff early before it becomes a problem, before they have pain or numbness or loss of control. Sometimes it's just simply playing too long. So if we can just reduce a little bit of force, say, on the left shoulder in a violinist, we can save a big problem down the line. Wow, a system that actually helps musicians have a long and healthy career? Dr. Chong, yeah. that's music to my ears. It's music to my ears, too. <laughs> Linnea, can you play us out? Yeah. 